I'm going to show you how to build MCP servers using Google Gemini 2.5 Pro. So the benefit of using Gemini AI Studio is that you can actually build MCP servers or you can code whatever you want, for example, apps, games, tools, etc. Using Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is the latest update, super powerful. It seems to be on the same level as Claude 3.7 Sonnet, but it's free. And if you want to use this, then the way that I would recommend setting this up, if you want to set up like MCP servers and automate whatever you can, then you can download Visual Studio Code. So we're going to do that in a sec. And then we're going to get an API key from aistudio.google.com, right? So you just click get API key, create API key. And then from here, we can grab an API key that we can plug directly into Visual Studio Code, right? And there's two ways to set this up, right? For example, you can use root code and that enables MCP server creation. So for example, you can see I've got perplexity set up and ready to go right here. The other option, and I think this may be even easier, is if you go to Klein, Klein have made this ridiculously easy, right? So if you go to Klein, which is an extension inside Visual Studio Code, again, Visual Studio Code is free, Klein is free, and the API key from Gemini 2.5 Pro is free as well. You can go in here, and then you can install client and go to MCP servers. All right. So I'll show you how to set up client. You just type in client in the extensions tab over here. Wait for that to load. Then you can download it. Once you've downloaded it, then you can go over to client on the icon over here. Click that and then click settings. All right. Settings over here. Once you've done that, then you can navigate to the MCP icon over here. And they've literally got a marketplace where you can set all of this stuff up. Now, let me show you how much easier that is than using cursor. So if we go over to cursor over here, this is a lot more like hard work. So if you want to set up MCP servers inside cursor, you go to your settings and then you go to MCP and then you add a new global MCP server. You have to create the file for the MCPs and then insert the information right there. It's a lot more technical. It's much harder to do. Whereas if you want to set this up with Google and Gemini 2.5 Pro, you can do that here. Now you might be wondering, okay, why would you use an MCP server? What was the benefit of this? Well, this is basically the future of AI agents, right? So previously, if you were building an AI agent, it was either not connected to the internet, right? Or if you wanted to connect it to the internet, so for example, something like Perplexy, you're only going to get one feature, right? And then you have to set up different tools, different apps, etc. It was a bit of a nightmare. You can use something like, for example, NA10 to do all this. But again, it's a lot of work. You have to set up this and this, right? And these are all going to be different features of the same tool. So for example, you might have one for sending emails, drafting emails, opening emails, and another one for writing emails, right? It's a lot of work. Whereas for example, with MCP servers, you basically, for example, you can have an AI agent that's linked to a Gmail MCP. And then from there, it gets all the functionality directly. You don't have to set it up individually. So it's a lot more efficient. And that's basically the future of MCP servers, right? You can pull in loads of good data. So we're going to go over here. And for example, if we want to set up Perplexy, we can just type in Perplexy Research over here. We can click Install. And what you can see is this is going to use an API request to set this up. Now, the API that I have set up right here is Open Router, but I also have Gemini set up as well. But either way, you can use Google Gemini 2.5 Pro. If you want to get an open router API key, I'll show you that in a sec. So what you do is you would go about to openrouter.ai. Then in the top left here, you can go to keys. And from the key section, you can just create a key and set that up inside the settings of client, right? So we're going to retry this. Let's see if it works. If it doesn't, we'll grab a, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so what we can do, like you can see right here, it's a little bit temperamental on Open Router, but we can grab an API key from Google. Let me do that. We'll copy this one. I'll delete that in a sec as well. Go out to Visual Studio Code. We'll plug in the API key. We'll select Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental. We've got some custom instructions here as well. They're inside the AO Profit Board. And if you want to get the custom instructions from me, we're going to retry that request right now. And let's see how we get on peeps. All right. This should be pretty simple and easy to do. The, the thing that it's going to ask me for in a sec is an API key from Plexi. All right. So if you want to set that up, you can go to your settings inside here. And then from here, you're going to go to API. And then from here, you would scroll down 
and go to API keys, generate that bad boy, copy it, go over to Visual Studio Code. You can see it's now said, please provide your API key. Happy to do that, mate. There you go. And the other powerful thing about this is like, you can give Visual Studio Code or client or whatever you want a connection to the outside world, right? Which means, for example, it's connected to Perplexity and it can talk to their server and it can ask different queries and that sort of thing, right? So we're going to wait for that to load right here. If you want to see what's set up, we'll come on to that in a second, actually. I'll just wait for this setup. I don't want to mess around here or mess anything up. So we're going to approve that. Bear in mind, like sometimes it doesn't work. So you can see here, for example, it didn't work perfectly. We're going to have to go back and forth and be a little bit patient with it. Bear in mind, MCP servers are relatively new, right? This is a relatively new feature that just came out a few months ago. And now, for example, Cursor, Claude were the first ones who originated with it. Rue code, you can set it up in Cursor as well. And then also you've got ChatGBT that are planning to launch it directly inside the desktop app. So wait for that to load right here. See what happens next. So that is running this magic right here. So, okay, it exists in the build directory, blah, blah, blah. It's going to wait for that to load. We'll just hit proceed while it's running. I'm going to X off that. You can see it's setting something up here as well inside the terminal. And then it's going to test it out, right? Now we can actually click auto approve. And then every time we want to use this MTP from Plexi, it will approve. Again, we wouldn't expect this to work perfectly first time around. So you can see it's got another error. I knew that was going to happen before I clicked on it, just because of how temperamental this can be. We'll wait for this to load and you can see how it's editing the client MCP servers here, right? So it's got the code for the MCP section inside this document. Now in the meantime, whilst that's setting up, we'll just approve that. Whilst that's setting up, let me show you what you can do with this. So if we go to perplexity, for example, you can see all the features. So if you actually want to see, okay, what can I do with each MCP? You can just go to the MCP of that particular place, right? Usually hosted on GitHub. So for example, me see the MCP server set up. You can see what you can do with it. So you can, for example, search, get documentation, find API keys, check deprecated code, etc. And if you have any problems, you just check that. The other cool thing as well, if we type in MCP GitHub Claude, we can see all the MCP servers that are available. So these are all the servers that we have. So for example, like Google Drive, Google Maps, you can connect this to Slack as well. We're just going to press Control C on that. This is not working at all. All right, let's keep going now. I'm going to open up a new window here. Let's see if it works better with... It keeps hitting the limit there. That is no bueno. All right, let's try Open Router. There we go. I'm going to just delete the old MCP server that we had. And we'll try installing Perplexity Research from Ruco directly. From client, sorry. There we go. All right, it's working. All right, so here's what I had to do. If you've already installed this, I think this is because I do so many installs of it for YouTube tutorials. But that was messy. That was very messy. All right, if you want the clean way to set it up, basically go to RuCode. Open up a new folder, right? So if you were inside a previous folder with the instructions, then just make sure you open up a new one like I did right here. Then you're going to say set up the MCP server, blah, blah, blah. You can see here we've got 2.5 per experimental setup. So that's free to use. There's no charge on the API key. And then basically from the marketplace, if for example, you want to install Perplexity, just click on Perplexity Research, hit install. And then say, okay, I can help set up the MCP server. Here you go. Did the MCP requests, gave it the API key, like you can see right here. And it's like, thanks. Here you go. Test it out and it worked first time, right? So this, <laughs> if you've got a previous install of this or you've set it up before and then deleted the API key, etc., I would recommend just setting up a whole new folder and just getting started again. Cause that was very messy. All right. But the easy way is, as I've shown you, just set up a, a new folder, use Gemini Pro Experimental, and that was using the Google Gemini directly, okay? Took like minimal back and forths. So let's test that out now. We're going to say, okay, what happened in AI News today? And you see the query here. So this is what it's going to ask to search query on Plexi. 
and then it's got its magic right there. It seems to be using the think mode as well inside perplexity. So you can see here, it's like, okay, let's figure this out, blah, blah, blah. Here's how we're going to do it. I wonder what API gets using, but then you've got the nicely formatted section right here, right? So it says, okay, I use perplexity's MCP servers, search tool to find the latest AI news is requested. This is from today, so March the 30th. And then you got Apple strategy and Samsung right here. But yeah, like I said, learn from my mistakes. All right. So don't do the complicated way, do the easiest way, which is with Klein. Open up a new folder. So you just go to file, open folder over here, set up a new one. If you've got a previous install and then from here, go to Plexi, install it, grab your API key. And you, that is so simple and easy once you set up a new version. So also it's got some interesting stuff here. So we've got, for example, like browser use, AI driven browser use automation. That's quite interesting. Let's see what this is. Browser use MCP server, AI driven, blah, blah, blah. And then you can install it on Claude desktop as well. Quite interesting, local. And then you can see the API keys here you, you can use. So you can actually use Gemini and Google API key for that. Let's test this out. I wonder if we can get it working. So we're going to go to install browser use. It's probably going to ask me for a Gemini API key. We'll test that in a sec. Hopefully it doesn't break anything as well locally. Looks interesting though. Because the way that I know to use browser use with Klein directly is you have to get a Claude API key, right? Which is not cheap for most people watching this. Like it can cost a bit of money, but it's setting that up. So let's see what we get back here. MCP servers updated, updating MCP servers. So it seems to be working. And then what we need to do is just grab an API key. If it's hit the limit as well. So go back here, grab an API key, copy that. I have to delete all my API keys again in a sec. All right, so that's good to go. Let's approve that. So it's trying to open it up, but it, it can't. Let's see what we need to do here. We might need to give it a new API key directly in the chat here. For now, what I'm going to do, just to make this simpler, I'm going to switch to Anthropic, use the API key from Claude, retry that. And then for the actual browser use, I'll use Gemini. So you can see its progress here. If we open that up. So we'll start a new task now because it seems to hit the context limit. Yeah, that is, wouldn't recommend using the browser use MCP. Does not work. Perplexity does though. You can see that's working beautifully right there. All right, let's try some others. So you also got, for example, SendGrid, which you could probably send emails with. What else we got? Fire crawl, advanced web scraping and crawling, Wolfram Alpha. Airtable could be quite useful. Serper search as well. I think that'll be really good. So you can basically use this with Google like perplexity. But the good thing about perplexity is like you get the AI results, not just a Google search, which is pretty good as well. But yeah, you can see how to set them up. So simply and easiest way seems to be you open up a new folder, then you install it from marketplace. Bear in mind, like not all of these seems to work. So for example, browser use <laughs> that says installed, but you totally let us down right there. Right. Whereas the perplexity one, much better, much better. You also got, for example, like Google Calendar, Discord, Spotify as well, which is pretty useful. I wonder if that requires a API key. So have a look here. So you can read more about these if you want. So for example, if you want the Spotify API credentials to link MCP servers to client, then you would just go to the developer dashboard and start getting that set up, right? Like you can see right here and then installation looks fairly simple, but you never know. All right. But the most reliable one that I've seen so far is perplexity. And then also brave search I've tested. That's pretty good. Airbnb I've tested inside NA10. I've got other video tutorials on that. But that's how you can set up MCP servers. And then you can see here, you get the results back and, and you can set all this up with Gemini 2.5, like I was showing you. Now, if you want to get my community that shows you how to make money and save time with AI, feel free to get that link in the comments description comes with a full, lots of tutorials on MCP agents, right? So if you scroll to the left here, you'll see our workflows and tutorial on MCP agents right there. And also NA10 MCP agents, which is a lot more complicated than just using the, the straightforward client method where you can install directly. You can also go in the calendar and jump on the Q and A's, ask any questions you have, 
And also inside the community here, if you get stuck in between different Q&A calls, you can post inside the community, ask any questions you have, and we are happy to help you. All right. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how you can make more money and save time and get more customers with SEO, feel free to get that. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and multipliers. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. And thanks so much for watching.